Let's talk a little bit about what happened when you moved your workflow. So um, the first time I, I saw somebody do that in, in practice, I guess, was probably um, a Jason Foyle uh, when I visited his pharmacy out in North Carolina. He had kind of done that exact same uh, idea where he had a, a larger space and he basically made his predictable refills um, kind of the same model as an LTC closed door. Like those are so predictable and expected. Why are we surprised when you have, you know, um, chronic disease state medication refill again next month, right? Um, so that predictable workflow was, you know, you can you can account for that differently than serving those walk-in customers, those new patients that, that are coming in. So how did your teams adapt to that? And then logistically and technically, how did you share that inventory? So it was a challenge uh, because I, I do think, you know, when we're filling like Central Fill, for instance, the other store kind of actually felt like we were stealing prescriptions from them, even though it's the same company. And then we'd bring it right, you know, we would we would pull those scripts, fill them here. Now I will say, um, we we lucked. There was a pharmacy nearby that had closed um, in Joplin, which is just north of us, and they had a whole bunch of cabinets that they were selling, just you know, just trying to get them. They said you you. you Go up there. We'll take this much. You can take everything in the store. So I went up and bought everything. Ended nice. up giving some to a friend of mine to help them open up a store. So uh, long story short, we were able to obtain a lot of pharmacy cabinets um, that I just immediately set up in this back area. And everybody came, I did it over a weekend and everybody came in. They're like, what's all this? And I said, this is <laughs> what I was telling you we're going to do. We're going to set up a med sink area in the back. They were a little bit hesitant. We, you know, we set computers up. I let them kind of, um, you know, make some suggestions on where they want things. And we moved a few things around. We're actually, by the way, that was about a year and a half ago. We're in the middle of moving things around again. So um, because we found that, you know, there's some more efficiencies and, and we're adding more MedSync patients. So we're thinking, okay, this is where we're going. I will say originally, uh, when we first re rolled the idea out, uh, there were a lot of people going, oh, my gosh, we're going to do that med sync thing again. I don't know if we can get through this. Um, now they're finding people to put on med sync. They're like, this yeah. person needs to be on med sync. This is a new patient uh, walks in the door. Would you like for us to line all your med? We don't use the word med sync, but we'll, you know, we'll say, would you like for us to line all your meds up so that you can get them all? either monthly or every 90 days. And they're like, oh gosh, that'd be great. You know, I have to go back to the pharmacy three or four times. And then I said, we're going to call you. We're going to call you monthly. We'll call you on a regular basis. We'll touch base with you. Um, and if you have questions or whatever, the pharmacist will be available then as well to be able to help you. And so those touch points continue.